So the guys at Super Bee Wig sent me this wig to review on my channel. It is the 18 inch Audrey Highlight Blonde Pre-Plugged Silky Straight 13 by 6 Teapot Lace Wig. And this is what the color looks like. It is a teapot wig and it only has the parting in the middle. It has four combs and it has these tabs attached where you can attach the adjustable straps. I did wash this hair in purple shampoo to tone the highlights and I did pluck the hairline just a little bit. This hair came very soft and it did have a bit of a smell but after washing and conditioning it was fine. I'm going to put some curls into this hair so I'm using heat protectant. Then I'm going to use my hair dryer just to stretch the hair out and make sure that it is fluffy and has volume so my curls will come out just right. Once I've blow dried the hair, I'm going to use my tongue and I am going to wrap the hair around it and just create curls. I am curling in every direction because I just want to wave. I'm not really going to keep the curls. I'm going to comb them out at the end. So I'm curling in different directions and I'm not really holding the curls because I don't want a tight curl. This is what the hair looks like once I've curled it. I went in and curled it in sections so the curls could come out more defined. I am spraying some got to be over it just to keep the curls intact. I ran out of hairspray. Now time for the install. My cornrows do look raggedy but anyway, I use a wet wipe to wipe away the excess oils and dirt that may be on my forehead. This will just help the got to be to stick better. Then I'm going to grab the wig and I am going to put the bands together and then put it on my head. This is because I want to cut the lace before installing. So I'm going to move it into place, put it where I want it to sit and see how it fits. So once the hair is on my head, I'm going to use clips and clip the hair back because now I need to cut the lace. I'm going to move the wig forward and place the lace nicely over my ears. Using my scissors, these are scissors I got for, from a manicure set. I just pierce a hole there by the ear tabs and then I cut and it's so much easier just to rip that lace away. Then I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. And what you see me do here is cut the lace in sections. I'm just making a few incisions and then I am going to cut the lace. So you want to cut your lace in a zigzag motion and you want to leave a bit of lace for you to be able to install it much easier and also so it blends into your skin nicely. I'm going to be using the got to be blasting free spray and I'm just going to spread right around my forehead and then sort of rub it into place with my finger because it drips and then I'm going to leave it a bit to get tacky before applying my wig. So once the spray becomes tacky I'm just going to pull the wig forward 
and then use my fingers to hold the ear tabs or any part of the lace that are sticking up down and then I am going to move to the other side move the wig forward and then you can also use the comb just to like stick the lace that sticks up down So now I'm going to melt the lace using this silk tie. I'm just going to tie it around my head a little bit tight so the lace can melt properly. After 5 to 10 minutes, I remove the silk tie and you can see the lace is melted. Then I'm going to take the wet wipe and I'm going to wipe away any excess got to be that I see on my forehead because if you don't clean it up, it'll show up white under your foundation. I went and did my makeup off camera and now I'm going to unclip the curls and I'm going to comb them out and sort of set them in place because I did say I wanted waves, I don't want to keep the curls. So I'm using this curl comb and I'm just combing the curls out. I'm also going to be using my fingers just to set the curls in place. I'm applying a few drops of serum into my palms and then I'm going to slick down my hair, any flyaways but also to give my hair that nice sheen and shine to it. I'm then going to flatten the parting using a hot comb. I did apply some wax stick to it. Um, it works better if you apply wax stick to your edges or the area that you're trying to flatten. And that's all you see me do. Then using a hairbrush, I am combing the curls out, trying to place them nicely. It's giving Beyonce vibes. I love, love, love this highlight wig. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will leave all the details in the description box and I will see you next time in my next one.